Hi there, I'm Mona Loy, Black Bright News, and I'm a bit peed off today because I'm fed up of everybody jumping on this Windrush bandwagon. That's the way I'm seeing it anyway. We're dealing with vulnerable people of who are in their 70s and 60s and 70s who are the type that do not stand up to white people, who believe that white people are right to believe that white people you have to look up to them so they're like lambs to the slaughter so i bet you when the home office or the immigration office turned up at their door or however they got them they just went because they thought oh i'm in the wrong there's nothing i can do i don't have any rights they're right so therefore i've got to go if it wasn't for young people if it wasn't for family members to stand up for them, nobody would even know about it. And then you have somebody like Nick Ferrari, who's banding out using very emotive language. And I think it's quite provocative. And it's almost like him and other people like him are trying to incite anger, frustration, so that we are going to riot or you know, create some kind of disturbance. I don't want us to do that because it's not going to bring back the people who have gone, who have lost their homes, who have lost their jobs, who all I'm hoping at the very least that the people who they shipped out and deported, they get their NHS pensions reinstated, backdated, and they get the money from the houses that they've stolen from them. That's what I want. Anyway, I'm going to play this Nick Ferrari video. If, if you haven't seen it already, it's been banded over everywhere. It is incredible, isn't it? When you think about it, we have Romanian murderers come here, Bulgarian rapists, and we cannot send them home. And they've been in this country in some instances for the best part of half an hour and they decided to murder teenagers or rape young women, and we cannot deport them. We have people engaged in terrorism, fermenting terrorism, preaching terrorism, dancing a jig of joy when the Twin Towers come down, doing everything they can to spread all sorts of unrest within the country, and we cannot deport them. We have people convicted of the gr grossest of crimes, including paedophilia, and you're following the narrative, I know, we cannot deport them. And we have these souls who, in some instances, have given half a century working in some pretty thankless tasks. Not all of them, but some of them. Driving the buses, working on the trains, delivering hospital food for half a century, and we can't get them out of the country quick enough. How the hell does that work? Eastern European gangsters stay. Hard-working people from the Commonwealth get out. Excuse me, can I go on benefits now? Can I have a part of it? No, get out. Honestly, who was in charge of this? It's horrific. Did, you, did you notice? Did you notice what he said? Oh, can we go on benefits? No, get out. Can we have our passports? I can understand that. I can understand us them asking for their pa passports. But why, may, why did he say at the end, can we have benefits? That's what I'm saying. They're so bloody provocative. And, you know, the insinuation, the innuendos, talking about the EC um, gangsters, paedophiles, and you know, the Romanian murderers and goodness knows what. Why is he bringing all of that into this discussion? I understand. I understand what he's saying. I understand that he's saying that these people are here and you can't get them out and you can't get... Uh, the Commonwealth people out quick enough. You can't get them out quick enough because they're vulnerable people. They have taken advantage of an era of people who they know won't make a fuss, who they know will just go along and get out of the way. They probably didn't even expect anybody to know it. They probably didn't even think they had any family because, you know, a lot of these um, Caucasian families as they get old, they stick them in a home. But you see, when one thing with black people in their families, we stick together. We might not stick together in business. We might not stick together in all these other ways that they're accusers of. But when it comes to our family, don't mess with our family. 
And that is what they've done. They've messed with our family and they need to put things right. They need to reinstate their pensions if they need to give them um, free hospital service in Jamaica or wherever, whichever part of the Caribbean they've sent them to. They need to be paying for their hospital and their treatment and they need to be giving them the, the sale from their homes that they've stolen. Honestly, I'm fuming and I'm fuming because too many people are jumping on the bandwagon. Everybody, oh, do you know anybody who's been shipped off to Windrush? They've probably got grants. They've probably got funding to do all of this. All of a sudden, this Windrush thing is in is is the flavour of the month. It's not right. It's not right. And if you're out there exploiting this situation, don't do it. If you're not using that money, that funding to get those people back here or to, re or to reinstate them in some way, you know, to, you know, remunerate them, whatever you want to call it, just keep your little selves quiet and, and stop bothering me here. Anyway, I'm Myrna Loy, Black Bite News.